Hey, good uh, afternoon, uh, everybody. I hope everybody's having a great uh, Friday today. Uh, I think I said I was going to start this uh, Friday training around 12:30, so I'm about a couple minutes early. Hope you guys can get on to, the, to this call. I'm going to give you some great information. And so I think I'll wait a few more minutes before we get started because there's, I'm sure there's some people that would love to, uh, to hear what I'm about to say. As you can see, I'm, I'm drinking my coffee. Uh, this is what I call my fat coffee. It's part of my protocol. And uh, today, Emily and I are doing a non-fasting day and, I, and um, we alternate days because we have a specific thing we're trying to do and that's add more lean muscle so we alternate our, our uh, intermittent fasting and our fasting days but anyway uh, this is part of it uh, i'll explain what what uh, alternating fasting means and why we do it there's particular reasons why and so uh, i'm at by uh, by adding uh, coconut cream to my coffee during my six hour window of eating uh, I'm adding more good dietary fat to my diet, which obviously is keeping me in what they call fat burning or, or uh, ketosis. I want to stay in there 24-7. So uh, uh, let's go ahead and get started. It's 12:29, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with this training. Uh, first of all, I've got a couple of announcements to make. Uh, I'm going to do these... Uh, Particular type of, I'm going to start, try to be consistent and do these trainings every Friday. I'll try to stay within this, this time. And uh, that way I'm going to give you guys, and I'm not going to do these trainings for my homepage, my Facebook homepage. <clears throat> these trainings are just for you, you guys to see. Now you can uh, invite your friends or family members to this uh, group if you'd like, uh, if you see value in what I'm doing here. Um, also, I want to mention, guys. <clears throat> I want to talk about my. Uh, I want to talk about my case study that I'm doing. This is the first uh, case study of the year. I'll probably be doing two of them. Um, I've already announced it. I think last week that I'm opening it up to people who are looking into uh, losing that belly fat or body fat or. They have some kind of, uh, if they have type 2 diabetes or some kind of an issue, a, med a medical issue, I'm, op I'm opening up this case study to them so we can get them started on it, kind of bump start them on it. Uh, you guys know that uh, whenever I talk about our four protocols that are very powerful, we can combine them, that the science is backing them up, but those four protocols are going to help you, help all of you who have whatever issue, uh, and science has already shown that. And so what I've done here is I've deeply, deeply discounted my normal training cost, my normal online training cost, because I want to get eight people in, involved. I'm, I'm up to about nine um, that are interested, and I've got two or three, I got a couple that have already sent their deposit in. And guys, I want to get this thing started um, I actually want to get this thing started by February 1st. I want everybody to start at the same exact time. Uh, so the case study will be what I'm looking for. And I, I want different, I like to have different options. Whatever issues you have, uh, that's what I'm looking for. I've added a couple of new things to my protocols to escalate uh, the body fat or fat losing or to escalate uh, to get the blood sugar down or what or whatever issue you have. I've added a couple of things that Emily and I have been working on for about the last seven or eight months. And uh, for us, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a must. I, I have to keep doing them because it actually keeps me uh, in fat burning much, much longer. Uh, the, other, the other thing is uh, um, next week, next Friday, I'm going to talk about uh, why I talk about non-fasting days and fasting days. And how that uh, how uh, uh, inter or, uh, intermittent fasting works and how it works for athletes or whoever, but it's, I'm going to talk about who it benefits the, the most. So you will get to understand when I do say, you know, Emily and I are on our non-fasting day, and not, no, we're on our fasting day, and I'm going to explain why we're doing that. 
And it probably took me about a year and a half or two years of doing it a few times to get enough uh, documentation and information to how it works for me. And that's the whole concept here is that what might work for me may not work for you. We got to figure that out, what works for, works for you. Now I also, uh, I got just one more thing to say, uh, actually two more things to announce. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my email or my post. Uh, Emily and I are very excited. We got uh, invited to join a group, uh, a wellness group that is ran by a doctor in the Temecula Valley, Marietta Valley. She is very well known. She's been around here for a long time. And she's the uh, founder of Optimal You. Uh, she's an MD, but she's also alternative. Uh, she's a, she specializes in bioidentical hormones. So she's a, she's a specialist in hormones. And this is where we've learned a lot about uh, women and men's hormones and uh, what affects them. And we collaborate between each other. Well, she now would like us, she saw my uh, four protocols. Um, she saw the PowerPoint that I have. And she wants us to get involved in her wellness center to where I will be doing uh, classes uh, probably once a week. So we're really excited about that. So she saw the power and the benefits of what Emily and I are doing that she wants to include it in her wellness uh, practice also. One last thing, uh, I'll be posting uh, in my uh, group files. You'll notice that I'm starting to post some docs in there, PDFs. Uh, I'll try to do all PDFs because I think that's most of you guys can get in there. Uh, but I'm going to start posting some of the science research that I have so that you can see that it's not really coming from me. It's coming from science. Uh, we've just initiated on ourselves to try it and other people to make sure it works. So I'm going to post that in there for those of you that need it for your skeptic friends or family members or for your doctors who have no idea what nutrition is. So, all right, guys. So let's go ahead and get started here. What's the, our training today? is uh, why do so many people fail when they first start getting involved in uh, a ketogenic diet? Now, I like to call it primal eating. Now, that's my cookbook. My cookbook's title is primal, uh, prim is primal Eating. That's the name of my cookbook. So I like to call it that because that's basically what it is. Our ancestors ate like this, but most of you know it as a ketogenic diet. And then the intermittent fasting is, is our second part of our protocol that we combine with the keto. And a lot of, and I'm sure a lot of you have here, your friends or family members or advertisements that people are jumping on the bandwagon or, or jumping into doing the primal eating or ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting. And the results have been just amazing. And they are, if they're done pro uh, properly. But the problem is what causes what happens to people and why they quit so early and why they uh, why they are why their blood sugars or they can't their blood sugars drop so fast why they are why they're they they try to do a 24 hour fast or a 36 36 hour fast and all of a sudden um, they're starving to death you know and then they you know I can't do this because if I'm my blood sugar drops I have a headache so they're not comfortable well, the problem is, who's ever uh, trying to explain to them how to do it, they really don't understand the physiology of the body and how the body works. Guys, I want you to really listen to what I'm about to say here, because this is going to put you ahead of your health professional, and it's going to put you ahead of your friends or families who think they have, they have the uh, knowledge of telling you how to do intermittent uh, fasting or how to do a ketogenic diet or telling you it's just not, it's not good for you, it's not safe for you. And so you guys have to understand that there's hormones involved here. And so this is, this, and I'm, I'm going to keep this short and simple so you fully can understand it, but I really want you to pay attention to this. Most of you who have, uh, who are going to try to do intermittent fasting or primal eating or ketogenic diet, you guys have been on a high carb diet for years. Okay, what I mean by high carbs is uh, your main source of fuel that you're eating every single day is carbo carbohydrates. Because you've been 
told by the media or by health professionals to eat a low fat diet and high carbs. And uh, a lot of people who get, you know, who have gained a lot of weight or they have type 2 diabetes or they have a fatty liver or they're obese or they're 30 or 40, 50 pounds overweight and they're looking at all this uh, advertisement and all the, their Google weight loss and all these people that go on a ketogenic diet or, or, or intermittent fasting and the results are phenomenal and they are if they're done right. But what happens is, is uh, people jump into these programs thinking that they could just go right into it and lose that weight, and that is not how the body works. You guys need to understand that you've been eating carbs for years, okay? Your body is set up right now to burn glucose or carbohydrates, which are then converted into glucose, which is, which is basically sugar, okay? So your body has been using that glucose or sugar for energy for years, okay? You have not even dipped into your own body fat. Well, because you're on such a high-carb diet and you're eating, you know, three, four, five meals a day, well, your body will actually go into what they call insulin resistance. And what that means is that you're consuming so much carbohydrates, you're, pro you're pr producing so much glucose or sugar, and the cells, the trillion cells, is trying to use up those glucose or that sugar for energy but what happens is each cell will overflow. I mean, you're, they get too full, okay? Well, the body is, as you're continually eating all that carbohydrate, which is converted to sugar, and your cells are no longer able to grab them and use them for energy throughout the body, so what, ha what happens is it, closes the, it, un it locks the door. It won't let any more sugar in there, and it and your, your, uh, your pancreas is still going to produce insulin, trying to shove that sugar in those cells, and it doesn't work. It's going to go, it goes right back into the blood, and guess what the body does? It takes that excess glucose or sugar and puts it right into fat cells. If you're 40 over, that is one of the main reasons or root causes of why you cannot get rid of that body fat. You're gaining body fat as you get older, and you're exercising, doing all this cardio, and it's still not working. Is because you've lost control of a hormone that's designed to store fat, okay? But what happens is because you've been on, uh, you've been, you've been uh, using glucose or sugar as your primary energy source, you see your body's going to go after the easiest source of energy, and that's sugar. That's the easiest source, okay? So if you're consuming carbohydrates two or three or four times a day or high amounts per sitting, and then your liver is producing, I mean, ha, you, you have all those glucose and sugars in the body, you know what? Why would the body even try to dip into your own body fat and use that as energy? It's not going to. And so what happens is, is people will jump into doing a ketogenic diet or intermittent fasting and try to do a 24-hour or 36-hour or 72-hour, and the body, you, you're, you're starting off on doing your first 24-hour oh, fast, and, and you're you're depleting your liver of all the glu glucose and sugar, and the body is, is trying, to fit, trying to find uh, sugar to, put, to use for energy, but there's no more left. And so the body's going, well, wait, hold it. There's, there's something wrong here. There's, there's no more left, and boom, your blood sugar drops, and you pass, you pass out. Or because there's no more glucose or sugar left for the body to go after, it triggers a hormone that makes you hungry. So now it sends a message to your brain saying, hey, there's no more food, there's no more sugar, so we got to eat something. I'm panicking. Your body's panicking. You see what I'm saying? 
So it doesn't even know how to jump into your own stored body fat. Now, science has already told us the best source of energy for the body, the body and the cleanest source is your own fat in your cells. That's the best source. The, and we'll talk about that later, but that's the best source. But what people are doing is they're trying to get ahead of themselves and they're not acclimating their body. You have to you have to train the body to actually dip into your own body fat to burn as primary fuel. That's what they call, I mean, once it's called fat adaptation, where Emily and I have been at for years. So what you have, so what people are doing is they have no idea of why they can't do it. They have no idea why they're starving, and they have no idea uh, why they get a, a headache or why they uh, feel uh, nauseous. They have no idea. Well, the, the body is just, it's not ready or it doesn't know how to dip in its own body fat. So this is where uh, coaching come, comes in. We teach people that are just starting out that they need to acclimate the body and teach the body to dip into its own body fat in order to uh, or in order to use that as energy and so we have protocols that we have to go by now each one of us you, you hear me say it all the time we all talk about uh, you know we're all not not the same and so we have protocols that we start so what we do I don't start anybody off intermittent fasting right off the bat I don't do that I, I have to teach them I have to teach their bodies how to burn the fat first. Now, how long does that take? Well, that's a great question because that depends on you guys. Now, most people, uh, now, this is the kicker too. Those of you that are actually uh, trying to lose weight or trying to do these two protocols, how, how do you know you're even fat burning? Do you know? No, you don't because you don't know how to monitor yourself. We do because I need to know. So I have a monitoring method or index or method that when I'm starting somebody off brand spanking new, I need to see how quickly we can actually get the body to switch over to burning fat. Okay. Now I'm going to start somebody off very easily and um, I am going to change their meal plans to where they're eating a higher fat meals, but I'm going to give them enough calories per day to where their blood sugars aren't going to drop horribly okay so what we're doing here is our program is originally going to start with the newcomers or even those that are old comers that want to start all over again is let's go ahead and start meals I mean my book my recipe book has all the meals in it you don't even have to there's no it, it's a complete road map there's no excuse why you can't do it because I already made I already got all the food there so you have got pictures and everything but what we're going to do is we're going to gradually teach the body to burn the fat from the food you're eating so it gets used to burning fat, okay? And then I'm going to monitor it three times a week to see if you're actually burning fat, and it's called ketones. When your liver starts to produce ketones and then you're monitoring those ketones and, and your first ketones come up, that's telling me that you're finally, your body is finally switched over to burning fat as fuel, okay? But we're using food. We're using the fat from the food to produce the ketones, okay? That's, that's, that's what we're doing. We want to get used. Because then when you, uh, when you get your body acclimated to burning fat, then we can go to the next level, okay? And that next level is going to be, we are going to actually dip into your own body fat. Doesn't that make sense? Okay. So if we're using food, the fat from the food, now this is all good dietary fat. I'm not talking about processed foods. I'm not talking about bad fats. I'm talking about good, real, uh, real uh, uh, dietary fats. So when we have got the body used to burning the fat from the food, which is producing ketones, 
which is, means we're in ketosis. And I'll tell you what, when you first start producing enough ketones out of that liver, you are going to be blown away on how you're going to feel as far as energy and clarity. That's why our ancestors, that's why the religious pe pe people did this kind of a program. Because when you're fasting, your body's producing one of the most powerful uh, benefits, and that's ketones, that is energy for the brain, food for the brain, and for the body. It, 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 like I said, when your body, science has already told us that ketones are, is, acts like rocket fuel for the, for the body. But you guys aren't dip, dipping into it because your carbs are too high. Now, yeah, I get these people that say, well, I'm on a low-carb diet. Okay, well, let's, let, let's see. Are you down low enough? See, the problem is most people think they're on a, a ketogenic diet, a low-carb diet, because it's 5%, but really when we test their blood or we test their urine, they're not. They're, out of, they're not even in fat, fat burning. See, so you're, you're wasting time here. You're, you're making a mistake. We made all the mistakes. Now, we're going to te teach you how not to make those mistakes so the results are much faster. Doesn't it make sense? If you get into fast burning ASAP and then you get into the next level of burning your own body fat, doesn't that, that make sense that you're gonna lose weight? That's a no-brainer, right? And, there, and, and, and when you get to the next level to where we're gonna start using more of your own body fat, we go to the next level to monitor it, to make sure we're in the right ratio to reach your goals. So there's a lot of factors involved here, guys, to be success, successful. I, you know, I'm sorry that it has to be that way, but it's not, it's easy, but it's not as easy as your trainer's telling you, or it's not as easy as you may be reading on Google because it can be sabotaged in many, many ways. But if you're following the right protocols and using the right tools and you're monitoring it the right way, you're going to stay into that fat, that fat burning, okay? And so to bring this back down again, we, you guys have to train the body to actually burn its own fat in order to lose the body fat or that belly fat. There's no age limit to this. I don't care. I mean, I'm 68. Emily is 65. You guys have followed me. You know, you've seen our abs. You've seen my wife's abs. There's no excuse why you can't do this, guys. This is a long-term uh, way of living, and your body... Now, I'm going back to the physiology of the body. The body has never evolved away from our ancestors, okay? Our body is designed to live off fat as its primary energy, what we have to do, this is the bottom line, and what we're doing on this group is I'm going to give you bits and pieces on how to keep yourself in what we call fat adaptation. But what we have to do, what you have to do, is switch from burning the sugar or glucose to, to switching over to your primary fuel as being body, or your own body fat or the fat you're eating. That's the object. Go from your primary fuel for years as carbohydrates to burning your own body fat as energy. Now, those of you that think you can do it in a month, two weeks, I mean, I don't know. Have I seen people do it? Absolutely. Have I done it personally? Absolutely. But it may, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take somebody to get into fat adaptation once we get started. Now, there's two types. You've got fat adaptation, and then you have rooted fat adaptation. Rooted fat adaptation means we can enjoy comfort foods every so often and not even affect our body, our fat, our fat burning. Our, if, we, if, we have, if I have a piece of pie at a birthday party for my grandkids, within a couple hours, boom, I'm right back into fat adaptation. Because the body is why. We've been doing this for years now, and the body, I'm fat adapted. The body's primary energy source now is no longer carbs. It's now fat. So it prefers the fat because it's happier burning off fat. You see what I'm saying? But it takes time to get from your carbs that you've been doing for years, 
You know, all good things don't happen overnight. You got to realize that. So you got to be patient. You got to be consistent. If you're not consistent, it's just going to take you longer to get on the fat side. Okay. So guys, that that's uh, basically you know what happens. Uh, what people don't realize is that the body just will not uh, jump from burning carbs to burning fat. And the body will actually uh, go into uh, what they call panic. The body will go into a panic mode if you all of a sudden just stop eating carbs and think that you're going to do a 24-hour uh, fast or a 72-hour fast. And it, it's miserable. Why? Why be miserable, guys? You know, just go, you know, be patient. Do it the healthy way and just do it slowly and acclimate the body into fat burning. And then... Learn, educate, listen to my coaching calls, uh, uh, listen to some of the things that I, or watch some of the things I put on in this group, and you'll be much, much more successful long term. And you're not going to fail, and you're not going to quit. The only way that you're going to fail by following the procedures or the protocols that we have is if you quit. That's how you're going to fail. And like I said, can't deny science. I mean, there's some unbelievable research coming out right now with these kind of protocols fighting cancer now. And for type 2 diabetes, reversing type 2 di diabetes with these four, four protocols, I, you got some of the top doctors that are doing them. Dr. Jason Fung, been, he's been doing it to his patients for over 10 years. He's got tons and tons and tons of research. So if your doctor says, yo, you can't reverse type 2 diabetes, you got to keep taking the medication the rest the rest of your life that's bs he's wrong because some of the top doctors kidney specialists are doing it naturally with what i'm doing i'm learning from i'm learning from them and passing it to you guys okay sorry guys if i'm ramping a little bit i want to keep it short <laughs> i get i get going and i just i just go crazy and it's just because emily and i are so passionate about this that we want everybody to know about it. We want to tell everybody everything, and I sometimes get confusing for people, and I say too too uh, too much. I apologize for it. But guys, uh, it would be great if you were to uh, invite your friends and family members to our weight loss made easy solution group, uh, so they can get the uh, information also, because our passion, our mission is to spread the word, the truth about true health uh, by eating real foods, real clean foods, and not having to be on medication. Hey guys, this, this world is getting toxic worse and worse and worse every day. So what we're teaching people, these four protocols, will give your family, your kids, your mom and dad, your brothers and uncles and cousins a, a better chance of surviving in this toxic world. Okay, so guys, that's uh, I hope you saw some value in this. And uh, my next training, like I said, will be about what I mean about uh, uh, intermittent, uh, intermittent or alternate alternate days fa uh, fasting, and who they benefit more and how it works. Actually, it works great for beginners. In my book, I actually have an example of a program that I really like. Uh, I love case studies. That's why I'm doing another case study because I'm. This is. I tried this uh, program on on three or four different body types and ages to see how it works, and uh, I was excited about it because not only it worked for them, is I'm doing it too, and found out that I'm still adding lean muscle doing those. And so I'll explain what I mean by all that. Okay, guys. So guys, got any questions? Uh, comment me. Uh, those of you that want some more information about my uh, case study that I'm doing, remember I'm, I'm uh, I want to start February 1st with everybody. Uh, put in the comment section uh, case study, and I'll send you guys the information. Okay? You guys have a great Friday. Emily and I are going to enjoy uh, the sunshine today. We're going to actually go to the pool for about an hour or so and study our uh, homework that we were given to at Bible study. So we need to 
soak up some good old vitamin D. Okay, guys, have a great day. See you guys next time around.